Fargo and called for his release from prison after over 30 years. And at Jamestown, his is a well-known story, and many today are making sure it is not forgotten. Nearly 100 people attended a rally at the federal courthouse for Leonard Peltier, a Native American who many believe has been wrongfully imprisoned for 33 years. They're calling today a day of justice and are hoping to raise awareness about Peltier's case. He was convicted for the 1975 shooting deaths of two FBI agents. His supporters say prosecutors admit they cannot prove that Peltier was guilty. Well, for many years, I watched, I've been watching what's going on with him. Go. You know, it's time to right the wrongs that our government's done. The Day of Justice calls for the U.S. Bureau of Prisons to recognize the, so the sovereignty of Turtle Mountain and let Leonard Peltier go home. U.S. Attorney Drew Wrigley says Peltier should spend the rest of his life in prison. This is Native American Heritage Day, which is being observed nationally for the first time. The day is set aside to honor and celebrate Native Americans, first Americans to live in the U.S. Some at Peltier's rally say they celebrate today and every day in honor of Native Americans. Others, like Russell Means of the Lakota Agula Nation, who has been on the forefront of organizing for the American Indian Movement since the early 70s, says the holiday means nothing. I don't want a day. I don't want to thank you. I don't want to, I'm sorry. I don't want a national whatever. They, you know, I want my freedom. And for many American Indians, Thanksgiving is a day of mourning, given the displacement from their lands and deaths from wars and disease that came during early settlement. Jamestown's state Senate race was wrapped up Wednesday after a recount. Now the lead has grown. Secretary of State Al Jager says Republican incumbent David 